Hello, my name is Cal Moliday from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today, I'm here at the VCO Compass on the 18th of July to spread some anarchy. All right, I'm going to ask you three simple questions and very briefly describe the uh, hidden violence and immorality of government. Uh, in your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve personal problems? No, I don't. And with the exception of self-defense of yourself and others, would you consider a wrong and wrong to initiate that violence? Uh, the to a certain degree. Yeah. And acceptance of self-defense, violence still, it's still not the answer. Right, still not the answer. And then the third question would be, would you also consider a wrong and a wrong to violently force your idea as much as other people? Yes, I would figure, you know, consider that wrong. Yeah, it's like if you didn't like what I had to say, you can just ignore me and just walk away, right? Right. If I like threaten you or grab you, now I'm trying to force, now I'm trying to violently force my ideas. Exactly. Um, all right, perfect then. And you just told me in your day-to-day -day life you have a plurality, you have many different ways to solve your problems without using violence, and as a, you have this more integrity against the initiation of that violence. And as a community of individual people here in Richmond, we're taught that the only way we can solve any kind of problem is that we can affect any kind of change is through government. And so we're taught that the way to do that is through voting. So we vote. We vote with our ideas in trying to solve problems, and in effect, we elect a politician. That politician, his or early job is to legislate those ideas into laws. But then those laws of ideas are backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint. You know, you can take cannabis, for example. If I were to smoke a plant, I'd be kidnapped, arrested, or into a cage, a prison. And if at any point I refuse or resist or don't agree with those ideas or try to escape, I'd be met with more violence or sometimes shot, murdered. Right? And at the same time, it's even funded through more violence because at no point can you say, I want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund water. You have no freedom of economic choice. You have to give your money. You have to give up your property. You have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of choice, they wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes. Right? And that's the head and violence of government. The government only knows how to solve problems in one way, a singular way, and that's with the threat of and use of violence to solve any kind of problem versus the, the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I have already shared that we're already applying in our lives to solve problems. And that's, and that's the hidden violence of government. Government contradicts that which we already have a moral integrity against. Wow. You should really get this out worldwide. <laughs> Thanks, no, I'm trying. I'm trying to pass this message. I'm trying to show yeah, my community in Richmond that we all share these fundamental values. That, and we actually reach out and talk to each other, we realize we never needed a government to begin with. We can have our communities of preferences. We can have rules without the political rulers. You know, we can have 40 or 50 percent of our income back in our own hands to, to choose which services that we want. It's not going to be harmful and abusive to, to the people who pay for their salaries. Yeah. So, who's monitoring monitoring them? Uh, you are. Uh, kind of like Netflix, for example. Netflix last year uh, tried to increase their prices ten dollars overnight, and people are like, "Oh, forget that. Cancel. Unsubscribe. And go to Hulu." Right? When you're in charge, when you have the choice. When there's, when they're not forcing you to pay, you have the freedom of choice to dictate whether you want that service or not. You know, and, and then the businesses therefore then cater to you because you're 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 in control, right? Because they want to provide better service to you. Whereas we can still have security, but unfortunately, the security here that's provided, not only are you forced to pay for it, you're forced to accept it, even if it's abusive, even if it's harmful. You have no freedom of choice to cancel or unsubscribe and say, or, or even provide a better service and say, what? I want to be entrepreneurial. I want to provide a better security that's not going to throw you in a cage for a victimless crime. You know, to actually protect real property, protect real life. You know, not for superficial, superficial reasons. You know, and that's and that's the direction that we need to go. Not on, not through, not on a direction that's not founded on violence. Well said. Yeah. All right. Great. <laughs> well said. Thanks, for man. Real. Uh, well, let me give you a pamphlet. I've got uh, so these ideas is called anarchy. Anarchy, by definition, means without rulers. Uh, like. Like in science, it means anions and cations, without, and. Archy means rulers, like monarchy means one ruler. So anarchy mean, means without rulers. We can have rules, there's just no need for rulers. There's just no need for like city council arbitrarily dictating how your life should be run. Exactly. Wow, did anybody else stop and talk to you? Uh, you're the first today. <laughs> oh man, I hope they pay attention, you know? Thanks, man. I really man. do. Appreciate it. You got, you got something to say, man. What's your name? Cal. My name is Cal. Cal, I'm, and I'm Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson? Alan Jackson. Pleasure to meet you, Alan. All right, Jackson. you have a wonderful day today, okay? You too, man. You and too. And don't give up. Spread the message. All right, 
I don't understand what you're saying, but it implies a lot of trust too between everyone else in the society. Like I personally know I'm not gonna go out and be violent, but you have right. to trust everybody else in your city and the society to follow that same moral code as you. And that's true, that's true. Not everybody does. Right, and that's why I'm here. I'm trying to show people that we actually share these fundamental values. And so for the most part, it's hard to see everyone else if we don't we don't know everyone else. So I'm trying to put these videos together so that here in our community we do share these fundamental values against that violence. We can have rules, there's just no need for political rulers.